All right, so let's take a quick look into our gallery settings. So head on over to Flow Theme, go over to Pages, and here we have Section 4.4 Galleries. Uh, once you click the following tab, you can see that we have a number of additional options on Fold. And within our general overview area, we have the following screenshot, which basically breaks down the page into several sections, just as our blog page as well, or our blog post page. And these areas are also duplicated uh, within our left uh, left hand side here. So as we scroll down to the very bottom of our page, there are uh, several options that we can adjust. First of all, uh, we can change our uh, link structure. and um, and just to give you a quick example, if you take a look at our website, you can see that we have Kyoto forward slash gallery and then gallery type A. Okay, so if you want to change this wording um, gallery to, uh, let's say, portfolio or any other word, uh, you will need to make the adjustments within the following section. So let me change this to essentially uh, portfolio. I'll then click on update. And if I head on over to the front end of my website, I'll refresh the following page. You can see here that uh, my page is no longer found simply because my link structure has changed. And as you'll notice, this word uh, changed from gallery to portfolio. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind. If you want to change your uh, your URLs uh, to be a little bit more unique and specific, you can make the adjustments within that section. And the same process would apply if you want to change your portfolio categories and the portfolio tags. Okay, so let me just change this back to gallery so we do not lose any of our link structure further on so it's not broken. Okay, and uh, next let's head on over to our title area and uh, see the options that we can adjust within that section. So going over here, uh, section 4.4.1, uh, once again this area is very similar to our blog post settings. We have a featured image. You can choose whether or not you want to display the featured image, adjust the elements color, which is the text and social media links above that featured image choose the featured image size whether it's going to be full width or original size and then also adjust the featured image height down below we can make adjustments to all of our fonts and decide whether or not we want to showcase our categories uh, social media sharing options publish date and so forth so uh, this area is pretty simple pretty generic to adjust as well okay heading over to additional info uh, this section is also very very simple all you need to do is head on over to uh, flow theme generics section and make adjustments in section uh, uh, 5.4 miscellaneous and then go to additional info and make the adjustments within that section so miscellaneous here we have additional information and once again uh, the exact same process of uh, making adjustments here applies to our blog posts and to our galleries as well okay next off let's head on over to gallery view Within the following area, we have a few more options to adjust. First of all, because we have a few different layouts to work with. So as you can see, we have column type C selected right now. I'm sorry, gallery type C selected. And we can adjust the number of columns we want to have within that page. So you can simply drag this around and change that number. And then you can also adjust the gap between our images. Uh, by default, it's 20 pixels, and you can make adjustments according to your preference. If we click on type B, you'll see that we have no options to adjust here simply because this page is kind of hard coded so there's really not much for us to work with. For gallery type A, there are a few adjustments as well. Uh, you can adjust the slideshow height and for the uh, responsiveness, uh, you can decide whether it's going to be responsive or if it's going to be a fixed size as well. Okay, so um, the options here are pretty, pretty simple and pretty generic. So let's head on over to our content section. Uh, within this area, this is also pretty simple, mainly related to your text content here. So first of all, you can choose whether or not you want to display your next and previous posts, adjust the titles here, make the font adjustments. Then for your partner links, um, you can change that title, change the font, 
and then also decide whether or not you want to show tags and show your social media sharing options okay so once again this area is also pretty simple heading over to Q&A area uh, this area uh, there's not much we can adjust here you will need to go over to generics miscellaneous and then go over to section Q&A and make the required adjustments here so for this section uh, you can adjust the title font adjustments uh, link labels link URLs and to add in your Q&A's simply click here add in your question and add in the answer to that question within the following section and then just repeat the process as you go along okay and then you can also make font adjustments here uh, next off heading over to the comments area this section is also pretty generic you can enable or disable comments however to make adjustments you will need to go over to the uh, flow theme uh, section 5 generics and make adjustments to the comments area now please keep in mind that this comments uh, area is the same for your galleries and your blog posts as well okay so that's that's just something you should be aware of okay and finally we have a section that's called related items uh, once again pretty simple enable or disable that option make adjustments within the generics area so here we have generics related items make adjustments in terms of colors, fonts, titles, and that's pretty much it for the following section. Okay, and then bottom navigation. This area is also very simple. Make color adjustments, uh, change the labels, and change the font settings here as well. Uh, also, we do have an additional option for selecting a page to go back to. So uh, what that would look like is, uh, let's head on over to gallery type A normally uh, if this option is enabled there is a button that says go back to portfolios or go back to galleries within the following page I don't have this example uh, enabled for this specific gallery however uh, within your gallery content you will have a button that says go back to galleries so uh, this section over here uh, essentially you can define a specific page uh, for your users to go back to. Uh, this is convenient for those of you who have a lot of traffic coming in from let's say uh, social media or uh, just general Google searches and they end up on a certain gallery. So instead of clicking back within their browser they can click back um, back to galleries and they will be redirected to a specific page within your website. Okay and then you make that adjustment or the button label adjustments here so it can be back to galleries back to portfolio back to grid etc okay so um, yeah this is it for the gallery settings I hope everything makes sense in the following video there is a lot of uh, info to grasp and a lot of settings however just keep in mind that everything uh, is broken down into sections always refer back to the following screenshot where we have everything broken down into the sections and you can also just uh, use this as a quick reference okay so other than that this is it thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you around later